First and foremost, congratulations goes out to Tony O'Burton on his huge win at the 2022 Legion Sports Fest. You think the Legion Sports Fest was named after Lee Priest? Could be. We're going to recap all these divisions. We're definitely going to dive into the open class. Like I said, Tony O'Burton gets first here, guys. Wow. This is your top six. On the outside looking in was Kenneth Jackson. He took sixth place. And on the other bookend there, a huge bookend, we have one of my favorites, current competitors, Jamie the Giant Christian. He takes fifth, much to my chagrin. Stan Dulongo, wow, fourth place for him. And Rashid Oldacre, he must have been celebrating with that third place finish. And Justin Rodriguez, probably not the happiest guy out there with second place, but hey, second's better than third, right? Tonio Burton, like I said, wins, and he looked tremendous. This is a show-winning physique for sure. And man, oh man, we're definitely going to have to take a look at this guy and realize there is guys like Brandon Curry. There is guys like Dexter the Blade Jackson that were small. People wrote them off, said there's no way, there's too many big guys. He'll never become Olympia champion. Well, you have to look at the old lineups and look at your... Brandon Curry and the guys that he was against. And I gotta say, this guy here could be a long shot, but you never know. You never know. Tony O'Burton could be a future Mr. Olympia champion. Here is Justin Rodriguez. Now, why did he get second? Probably should have won. A lot of people had him predicted as uh, winning, structurally speaking. He's a big dude. He's huge, full of muscle. I honestly think he was competing too much. He lost a little bit of that sting, that pop, that wow. And when it comes to bodybuilding, guys, here he was at the Boston Pro. When it comes to bodybuilding, the judges do not like to see a lesser version, and he was definitely better here. Look at that, guys. Abs were in, bicep peaks. He was just altogether better conditioned. He looked bigger, stronger, fresher. So yeah, competing a little bit too much this year could have been uh, a factor in that second place and here's a riddle third place when is third place better than second place when it's Rashid Oldacre taking third and Rodriguez taking second this guy wow he must have been celebrating man oh man I actually thought it was a different guy I thought it was Jojo Niforo I believe his last name and I actually told Goat Fitness that's who it was so I I kind of steered him the wrong way so sorry, goat. Sorry, goat. Don't listen to Mark's Max Muscle. I wouldn't know who Horse MD is, for goodness sakes. But yeah, yeah. Let us uh, hope that this guy gets even better and gets an even better placing his next event. Stan DeLongo, and I'm sure he is just as happy. You got to say his last name properly or disrespectful, huh? Yes, Stan DeLongo. He, uh, he takes fourth, and he did look good. I should have known he was going to nail his condition judging by his Instagram, things of that nature. But you usually you shouldn't go off that 100%. And Jamie the Giant takes fifth. I don't know. I don't know. The judges just do not like tall bodybuilders. I think he was probably every bit as good as DeLongo, as far as the conditioning is concerned. And he is six feet five. He's a giant. He's a giant. He's my boy, yeah? Anyway, from the, from the UK, a lot of new uh, UK bodybuilders coming up right now, yeah? I do believe you got to keep your eye on a lot of them, yeah? But anyway, Jamie the Giant, hey, I don't know. He looks good. Probably his best version, maybe. He's competed, I don't know how many times this year. He did both Yamamoto's, Arnold Classic, another one, I think, too. And then the, the Legion, the 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 in sixth place was Kenneth Jackson. And hey, man, hold your head up high. There was a pile of guys there. There was a, uh, a giant pile of bodybuilders, good bodybuilders that you beat, Kenneth. So I'm sure he had a good celebration meal. I wonder what you had. I wonder what Kenneth had. If you uh, incidentally have a YouTube channel, go ahead. Comment in the section below there, Kenneth. Let us know what you had. Pizza? Which? Let us wade into the classic physique division. We won't be taking uh, diving in quite so deep as we did the open class. 
hey, I give you guys what you want. This is Jeff Hallenbach. He also took the master's class, uh, 35 plus. Can you call that master's? It just seems so young to me, 35. I don't know how old he is, but he, anyway, yeah, he looked tremendous, guys. And, uh, yeah, he probably celebrated too, winning not only the master's class the day before, or was it two days before? Yeah, yeah. But winning the uh, the overall Classic Physique Division. This guy's going to the Olympia. Second place was Bryant Carlton Smith. And he looked really good. Talk about Classic Physique. This guy's physique looks like they was it was brought right out of the 1970s. Look at this. Tremendous stuff. In third place was Pong. Th Fong. Fong. Win. And it's uh, Ann Wynn, you guys are familiar with him. That's exactly uh, the way he spells his last name. It's not Nguyen, it's Wynn, I believe. But yeah, he took third. In fourth place was Zachary Romano. It's Zach, it's just Zach. I like to call them Zachary, though. If you don't mind, Zachary. Zachary Romano gets fourth. And in fifth place was Eric Wildberger. Seen this guy many, many times. I like his physique. Get his arms a little bit more filled out. Hey, the wheels look darn good. Get those uh, arms filled out a little bit more. And the, that midsection, V-taper and wheels will take you to a victory, I'm sure. Here is the sixth place guy. Jor Tibet. Alexandria. Alexander. Nice smooth haircut there. Looking good, man. Looking good. Good. That's your classic physique division, guys. Now let us dip our toes just simply into the men's physique because I don't want to invest too much into this because most of my audience, you guys are in it for the open class. You know, classic physique, 212. I kind of get uh, unsubscribers when I post these other divisions. But this is just a quick run through. I'll timestamp it too. And uh, Chiron Holden. He is your champion. You can look at the other names there if you would like. Next division is the women's physique. We're going to, like I said, dip our toes into this. Yvonne Pennington. What a classic physique on this woman. And I guess this is your female's version of your classic physique. Next step down as far as muscle, things of that nature. And wellness kind of confuses a lot of guys. But hey, if you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. That's why I put these at the end of these, these videos. Amanda Burnett. She wins, and like I said, all the other names, your top five. Fitness, and this is why you guys are get, get so confused. There's so many divisions. Fitness, these girls do the, the routines. They flip, they more than flipping. Danielle, chickalese, baby please, chickless. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I probably get your name wrong. Man, you got a nice trophy there anyway, big cape, things of that nature. Last but not least, your bikini division. Jordan Lee, Jordan, Jordan Lee, and it's very difficult to understand all these divisions. They don't exactly judge the, just the body on this in the bikini. They judge posture, the way they move around. They got to have a little bit of attitude, sass, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, guys, that's your Legion Sports Fest. That is a wrap. What a show. Thank you to NPC News Online for getting all these pictures out. Nice and fast. Can't say the same about the Yamamoto France or uh, the Tsunami Pro. or We're still waiting on the Amateur Olympia pictures too. Hit thumbs up guys. Subscribe to the channel. Have a nice one.